my name's Jason Roberts and this is 606 Extra Time. Now today we're going to be discussing the transfer window and I've picked six teams that I believe need to have a strong transfer window to make sure that they achieve their aims. Arsenal. With the recent injury to Theo Walcott, a lot of pressure has been placed on Giroud. Yes, we all know that Podolski can come in and do a job, but maybe not week in, week out. In my opinion, Arsene Wenger has two choices. He can bring in a big name player, a Falcao, a Cavani if the funds are there, or maybe a stopgap player. And that's the option I think he'll go down. One for me who sticks out is Michu. If he was fit and available, I think he would be a good fit for Arsenal. But Berbatov for me is the one you look at, has won titles, can deal with the ball as a big game player, and he would have absolutely no problem fitting into Arsenal's style of play, and there's no doubt would guarantee you goals. So on to Chelsea. When you look up front and you see that Chelsea usually play one up front. When you play one up front, you can have three players, I think, three top-class players, Etu, Torres, Demba Bar. When they're fit, that composition sounds right. But when you have Torres injured, you probably would like to have a young, talented, hungry, developing player who can be able to come in and make a difference. I don't know, maybe someone like Lukaku or Daniel Sturridge, but yeah, they let them go. Man United. The best thing they can do in this transfer window is to keep hold of Wayne Rooney. Without Rooney's fitness issue, without his contract being sorted out, I think Man United are going to struggle to make the top six when you look at the form of Everton and Tottenham. So it's imperative they keep him fit and, if they're lucky, signing a new contract. Robert Van Persie getting fit is also a huge issue for them. And believe me, players know when their best players are available. You feel a lot bigger, you feel stronger, you feel more motivated when your best players are on the pitch. And the Man United players will know that at the moment their two best players are injured. Now, one of my former clubs, West Brom, had a fantastic season last year, coming eighth. They made their first sign in the transfer window, and that's Pepe Mel coming in to replace Steve Clark. But I was surprised with the two signings they didn't make, and that's Rios and Gomez. Pepe Mel's backroom staff. Now people won't recognise just how important these people will be, not just to the manager, but in terms of transmitting his new style of football onto the players. What are the expectations? The manager doesn't deal with all of the relationships in the dressing room. He will filter those messages down to his backroom staff and they will deliver that message on the training pitch or whether that be in terms of what's required in terms of strength and conditioning. Now, they have a great backroom staff there already at West Brom, but it would have been added and would have helped the manager if he could bring his backroom staff when he signed for the club. West Ham. Firstly, Big Sam, in my opinion, is the correct man for the job. There's lots of calls going in, there's lots of pressure being placed on him. Also, West Ham fans really worried about the potential departure of Ravel Morrison. Now, in my opinion, he's a fantastic player, but when you're talking about staying in the league, you know, I think West Ham could afford to lose him. They certainly can't afford to lose the injuries that they've had, the likes of Winston Reid, the likes of James Collins, the likes of Andy Carroll being out for the time that they are, left Big Sam having to re-sign Carlton Cole, who I think is a good player, but bringing him back into the club after being released couldn't have done well in the dressing room and certainly couldn't have done the players' confidence any good. But having been down there, Big Sam, I know that he is the right man for this job. He will take the pressure off the players, he'll relax them, get them to focus on what is important, which is 90 minutes of football, and break it down into the most basic way of playing that you can imagine. Now on to Fulham. I spoke earlier about Dimitar Berbatov maybe having the opportunity to go to Arsenal. And I think if he wants to go, Fulham should let him go. It might sound a bit weird talking about a player who's possibly their most talented player. Everything goes for him. If he's not motivated and not on top of his game, I think this could hurt Fulham. Especially when you have the likes of Darren Bent sitting on the bench, who's going to run the channels, is going to score goals. It's going to take a very good player to be able to come into Fulham and make their first 11 when you look at the names, the Parkers, the Hangerlands. These are players who've been there before and knows what it takes to stay in this division. So you heard what I think, but what do you think? What does your club need to do before the transfer window closes?